I'm like loving this ASMR of all these empties because today we have an empties video. It's Kelly. Welcome back. So I have used up a lot of makeup and skincare recently and I'm going to share with you guys what's in this bag. This is my empties bag. I like to put on my beauty garbage in here and if you caught Friday's video, I think this is going to be going up the week after that. If you caught Friday's video, I just moved and this is the last video I'm filming in this spot. Oh, that's kind of bittersweet. Oh, that's weird to think about. This is the last video I'm going to film in this apartment. And I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all these empties because I will then be recycling everything in this bag. I don't wanna take a bag of garbage to my new place. So if you're new here, hello, I'm Kelly. I upload four videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Every video after this, you will see a new background. Hopefully the new background is cute. Um, future Kelly is working on it. Be sure to subscribe. I love doing empties videos. I love doing shop my stash videos, project pan videos. I get so excited when I use makeup up and if you are the same type of person or you wanna be, be sure to subscribe and let's go ahead and hop into it. I feel like this is a pretty big empties. Okay, um, this. Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I love this stuff. This is either the second or third one of these that I have used up and I have another one ready to go. Ooh, even... Just the whiff of this that I got when I opened this up was so strong. But this is one of my favorite moisturizers, mostly because of the scent, and I have a scent dupe, okay? I have a new dupes video coming. I think it's going to be Friday. I think if everything goes as planned, that video will be up Friday, so mark your calendars. I will have a dupe for you guys for this because this is just ridiculously expensive, but it is really good. Like I said, I've already repurchased it, but I love this stuff. What is next? Ooh, oh, the conditioner. Do you remember in the last empties, I had used up the shampoo. Now I have used up the conditioner. I almost dropped it from Eva NYC. This is the Main Magic 10 in 1 conditioner. I would not repurchase this. It's okay. I don't have any major negative to say about it, but it wasn't anything special. Like it is very much a conditioner and the shampoo was a shampoo. I have like little fuzzies coming off of this bag right now and just floating through the sky. This was fine. It's hydrating. It's somewhat affordable. It's a closer to a drugstore price point as opposed to a high-end shampoo or conditioner, but I didn't find it remarkable enough that I would repurchase it actually. A makeup empty that I will repurchase eventually is the Stay Naked Foundation from Urban Decay. This is my favorite foundation, both drugstore and high-end. It's amazing. It has a nice natural finish to it. It's not too matte or too glowy, but you could make it matte or you could make it glowy. It looks very natural. I've had so many subscribers say that they purchased this based on my recommendation, which makes me so excited because it's a phenomenal foundation. I need to work through some foundations right now, but this is one I'm excited to eventually bring back into my collection. I will, without a doubt, repurchase this one. Something I would not repurchase, and I'm kind of bummed, that, that, that bag is very loud, but I really wanted to like this. This is from the brand Skip. So this is a new brand to Ulta Beauty. Their packaging, it looks so cute, but I'm gonna tell you why I actually don't like it. But the mission for this brand is to be more sustainable, and I really love that, and I hope more brands continue to make that an important pillar of their mission. But with Skip, this just doesn't really work the way that it should. So the body wash comes in this milk carton type container, and then you can take the cap off like that. So my biggest complaint with this is the packaging and it's a bummer because the packaging actually is so cute and they say that you can keep it in the shower it says right on the side that the container has a strong exterior that not only stands out on your shelf it will stand up in the shower i disagree with that it like immediately just starts looking so gunky i don't even know if it'll be easy to see on camera but like even around the size like it just would look disgusting also I don't like this applicator. So it's so giant, this opening right here. And the the texture of the product is pretty thick. So when you go to dump some of it out, because of the thick texture and because of this large opening, I always get far too much product. I can't control how much comes out. So even though it's an effective body wash, it smells nice and I love the concept of it, I just did not find this to work for me, mostly based on the packaging and that really bums me out. 
I sort of used up this bronzer, we will discuss. If you keep up with my project pan and you saw the last update, like the most recent one, you know that I was so close to being done with this bronzer from Milani. I had just like a few millimeters around the edge, just a small little area around the pan that I was really trying to use up. And then in my project pan video, while I was filming the product close-ups, I set this down, I bumped into it, it fell on the ground and it shattered. So this one I sort of cheated on. Some of it I had to throw away because it just spilled all over my floor and obviously I wasn't gonna repress that and put it on my face, but I used up most of this bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer out there. I think it is such a good formula. So once I do use up some bronzers, I would consider repurchasing that one. I think it's one of the best out there, not only from the drugstore, but even better than most high-end bronzers that I've tried. Also used up the e.l.f. Wow Brow. This is a little brow mascara. This is another one that I will repurchase. This is a great video, lots of repurchases. I won't be repurchasing this for a while because if you caught my no buy update, I put brow products back on the list. So I'm not buying any brow products for the rest of the year unless it's like a direct replacement. But this is a nice formula that adds some fibers and thickness to the brows. So if you have pretty sparse eyebrows like I do, you'll probably really like this one. It's not super effective at like gluing your brows down, but it does add a lot of fullness, which is what I personally look for in a brow gel. This I would not repurchase. It's the Skin Iceland Arctic Repair Cream. So I actually really like the performance of this one, but it's such a strange texture for a moisturizer. It's very, very thick, but I mean, don't get me wrong. I like a thick moisturizer, but the texture of this one almost kind of balls up and doesn't want to glide across the skin. So I have trouble applying it. And even though I like it and I think it's an effective product, the texture of it makes it tricky to work with. And it's the weirdest thing because I will be applying it to my face and a chunk of it will just ball off and like ball up and fall off. So I wouldn't repurchase this even though I think it's very good and very calming to the skin. I liked it, but that kind of turned me off from it. One that I would repurchase, but I won't right away because I need to work a few, work through a few of them is this sunscreen from Sunday Riley. This is one of the best sunscreens I've tried, you guys. This is the Lighthearted Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So this came to me as a point perk from Sephora. I will say I am pretty pale and this I would imagine could potentially leave a white cast if you have a deeper skin tone. So if you've tried this, let me know if that happened to you. When I apply this, I notice that initially I have a bit of a cast, but once I let it sit for a minute, I don't notice it anymore. But again, I'm pretty pale, so it might fade away on me, but I don't know if that will be the experience for everyone. So let me know if you've tried it, if you do experience a white cast with it, because aside from that, it wears so beautifully underneath my makeup. It doesn't make me too oily. It's not greasy. It doesn't make me break out. I really, really enjoy this underneath my makeup. The Pharmacy Niacinamide Night Mask is so good. I used this one up and I have already repurchased this and started using my new one. You guys, this is such a great hydrating mask. The niacinamide leaves your skin really, really smooth in texture, but also this is incredibly nourishing. I've had so many friends in my personal life pick this up based on my recommendation and they all love it. Like I get comments all the time from people saying like, I'm so glad I picked up that night cream. Highly recommend this one. Like I said, I've already repurchased. I used up this concealer from Pure Cosmetics. This was a really, really good one. I liked this concealer a lot. This is their four-in-one concealer. I mentioned this in a favorites video a while ago. The packaging is so cool. You have a button to unlock the concealer and you have a medium-sized doe foot to this one. This leaves a nice natural finish. It's not too thick, but it still provides a nice layer of coverage. I, I would see myself repurchasing this one. I'm not going to right away because I've got enough concealers probably for a few years at this point, but I like this formula. I would recommend it. If, I, if all my concealers suddenly disappeared, knock on wood, 
I would, I would consider repurchasing this one to add back to my collection. Josie Moran Beta Retinoid Pink Algae Serum. This is a mini, this came to me in PR. I mostly use this up on my neck and chest because I already use a retinoid on my face and I, I don't want to double up, but I liked using this on my chest. Do I think you need to buy an expensive product like this just to use on your chest? Absolutely not, but I had it and I didn't want it to go to waste. So that was how I used it up. I didn't notice a ton from it, to be honest though, but if you've tried this and you really like it, let me know down below. The e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. That was such a name. I will definitely repurchase this. This is one of my favorite oil-based cleansers. I have a few in my skincare collection right now that I need to use up. So you guys know I'm not buying any skincare backups. So if I was going to repurchase this, it would be a ways down the road, but this is one of my favorite oil-based cleansers from both the drugstore and high-end. It is so effective. I would highly recommend this one. I also had the Holy Hydration Eye Cream. I liked this, but the packaging actually broke on me, so when I was putting the lid back on, it cracked. So I ended up using this up on like my body just to use it up because I didn't want it to go bad, but the lid was broken, so it obviously was not going to be usable. I could have transferred it to another container, I just didn't have one, so I was like, let me use this up before it goes bad. So I used it as a body moisturizer to finish it up, but until that point, I was enjoying this as an eye cream. I do think it's an effective hydrating eye cream. I know there's debate on whether or not an eye cream is necessary. You definitely can hydrate your under eyes simply with your moisturizer, but personally, I enjoy using an eye cream and I notice a difference when I use one, so I liked that one. Again, it's one of those things where I would repurchase it maybe someday, but I don't need to repurchase one right now. I also used up the Glow Recipe Ceramide Recovery Serum. I believe this was a mini. This came from their collaboration with Michaela, and that was my first time using this, and I liked it so much as a nice hydrating serum. I recently got a PR package from them, and it had the full size of this in it, so I've been using that. I really like this. I found a lot of Glow Recipe products that I like recently. Their products are fragranced, which I don't love, but I do find them to be pretty effective and my skin seems to really like them. And that I found really, really hydrating. I had a mini of this guy. This is the TLC Frambo Frambo's Glycolic Night Serum from Drunk Elephant. I used up a full size of this years ago and I think it's good, but I have other more affordable options that I prefer over this. so. I probably wouldn't repurchase this one, but I had a mini, so I was like, let me use it up. It is good. It's a nice, gentle, exfoliating product, but you still get like a good amount of benefits from it. Like You'll notice a difference in the texture of your skin overnight, but I also find similar results with some of my more affordable options from brands like The Ordinary. Oh, another e.l.f. one. This is like the whole collection. This is the Holy Hydration Daily Cleanser. I like this as a nice gentle cleanser. It's a cheap option at the drugstore and it gets the job done. It's not too stripping for your skin, so I would repurchase this one if I needed to, but like I've said a lot in this video, I don't. I'm great when it comes to skincare backups. I do not need any. I used up one of my favorite primers. This is the High Adherence Silicone Primer from The Ordinary. Okay. I love this so much, but I've talked in a lot of videos about how I have replaced this with the primer from Hard Candy, their Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. And with that one, I find that it still gives me the hydration and grip that this one does, but a little bit more. So even though this is a couple dollars cheaper, I don't think I would repurchase this even though I love it so much and I still recommend it, but I like that one from Hard Candy a little bit more. Also. I get questions about cruelty-free deodorants, and this is one that I enjoy. This is the Tom's 24-hour wetness protection antiperspirant deodorant in coconut lavender. Oftentimes with the cruelty-free deodorants that I find, they just do not get the job done, but this one I think is pretty effective, and I like the smell. It's subtle, kind of powdery, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and found these mini reviews helpful. I will link everything down below as always. And if you do shop through those links, they are affiliate links. So thank you so much for supporting this channel. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.